I'm so hungry. Where's Brock with the sandwiches? Bigger. I call the biggest one. But you're the smallest. You don't know the size of my stomach. Well, I call the second biggest. The third. Bigger. Ta-da! I made finger sandwiches. Fancy, right? Mmm, they look delicious. There's juicy jelly, chewy cheese, veggie delight, and spicy squeeze. Which one's the biggest? Hmm, I don't know. I cut each different kind into a different shaped triangle. Now let's eat. Oh no, not yet. We gotta figure out how big each one is. Why? Let's eat. Because I called the biggest. Huh, and I call the second biggest. Every little bite counts when you're hungry. But they're small enough to have more than one. Maybe we should figure out how much really is the same amount. Yeah, you're right. That would be the fair way to do it. I bet Ada can teach us a quick way to tell. Let's call her. <coughs> hey, everybody. What's up? Lunch. So I made finger sandwiches. Four different flavors. Yeah, we're all hungry and ready to eat. But we want everyone to get an even amount of food. But I cut them all into different shaped triangles. But now we don't know how to distribute them fairly and evenly. Oh, I see. Well, when you find the area of something, you figure out how much space it takes up. So why don't we figure out how big each flavor is, and then you can divide and dine. Exactly. Maybe I should have kept the sandwiches rectangular. But no, Ada. I'm a pretty creative guy. Well, Brock, you may have been cleverer than you think. Did you know two triangles make a rectangle? Oh yeah. I didn't think about it that way. Yeah. And since we've got triangle sandwiches, and we want to find out how much space each one takes up, we need to find the area of a triangle, which is actually one half the area of a rectangle. Yes. Way to know and go, Brock. So to find out how much space the sandwich takes up, we have to follow the same steps we would to find the area of a rectangle, and then cut the number in half too. Wow, really? That's awesome. So what's the first step in finding the area of a rectangle? I know. First, you got to measure the base. Right. And find out how long the base or bottom of the triangle is. So looking at this example here, the base is three inches long. Nice job. Now what comes next? You find the height. Exacto mundo. The height. How do we measure how tall a triangle is? It doesn't have sides like a rectangle. You make one line going from the base all the way up to the very top of the triangle, the spot where the two lines on top come together, like this. Okay, so the height is two inches. Great. Now let's find the area of a triangle. You got to use the formula. It's one half times the base times the height. Or I could let you in on a secret. Dish it. Well, there's another way to find the area of a triangle. A shortcut. You multiply the base times the height and then divide it by two, because multiplying by one half is the same as dividing by two. Oh, cool. So now we just put the numbers into the formula. Exactly. Okay. We know area equals base times the height divided by two, and we know the base is three inches and the height is two inches. Keep going. So three times two equals six. Yes. And six divided by two equals three. So that means the area is three. Oh, almost. Remember, we're finding the area in inches. So three inches by two inches. Divided by two equals three square inches because area is always measured in square units. So if we're multiplying inches, the area will always be in square inches. You got it. And if you're multiplying feet, the area will always be in square feet, and meters will be square meters. Gotcha. We got you. Sounds like you're ready to try out some triangular teasers. Ready to practice finding the area of triangles? I think so. Let's do it. All right, but which formula should I use to find the area of each triangle? You got it. 
Awesome! I think we're ready to figure out these triangles. Let's start with this one. It says the base is six inches. But what is the height? Ada said to measure from the base to the highest part of the triangle. Can you help out here? Drag and drop the ruler so it makes a line through the triangle that will measure the height. Yes, 10 inches is the measure from the base to where the other two sides meet. Wahoo! Okay, now let's find the area of the sail. Yeah, the area of a triangle is one-half base times the height. And you remembered that it's square inches. Good job! Okay, what about this one? It says the base is four inches, but what is the height? Ada said to measure from the base to the highest part of the triangle. Can you help me out here? Drag and drop the ruler so it makes a line through the triangle that will measure the height. You got it! The height is from the base to where the other two sides meet. Now, can you find the area of this part of the house? Yes, the area is four inches squared. Okay, now let's check out this one. It says the base is three inches, but what is the height? Ada said to measure from the base to the highest part of the triangle. Can you help me out here? You got it! The height is from the base to where the other two sides meet. Okay, now what's the area of the wing of the airplane? Yeah, the area of a triangle is one-half base times the height. And you remembered that it's square inches. Good job! Oh yeah! We did it! That's right! You kicked it in three corners, and now you're all set to size up those sandwiches. That's good, because now I'm really hungry. Thanks a lot, Ada. Anytime, my compadres. Bye. Bye. Well, now that we know how, let's sort out the sandwiches evenly. You got it! All right! job. It looks like everyone can get 20 square inches of sandwich. Can you place the right amount in each person's plate, making sure that everyone gets at least one of each flavor? When you're finished, click check.
Yummy! Looks delicious! Tasty choice! Mmm, my mouth is watering! Thanks for all your help! Now, let's dig in! All right! It's chow time! Yeah! Mmm! -hmm. Yum! <laughs> Big uppy! Don't worry. I didn't forget about you. I made special Pokemon food for Pikachu. Bon appetit! Pikachu! Yeah, Pikachu. My compliments to the chef, too. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu! The area of a triangle is one half the area of a rectangle. Try again. To find the height, you must measure from the base to where the other two sides meet. To find the height, you must measure from the base to where the other two sides meet. Try again. The formula for the area of a triangle is one half base times the height. Don't forget that area is measured in square units. Try again. Try again. Try again. Remember, each plate has to have 20 square inches of sandwich and one of each kind. Yummy! Looks delicious! Tasty choice! Mmm, my mouth is watering! <laughs>